Hey everyone, Omerko here, a self-taught web developer. In today's video we will use Portal from Material. Portal is able to port our components and templates wherever we wish, and that way give us this more, well, dynamic approach while working with those. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe as we are closing in to 1000 subscribers. As usual, we will first create the component where we wish to use our portal. For that, I will create the component with command of ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will generate my component in components slash cdk slash portal. I will use the component that I just generated. For that, I will open my app.component.html file. In this file, I will first hide the component from the last video. If you wish to watch that video, you will have a link down in the description of this one. Right after this component, I will set the, well, comment of CDK portal. Then I can use my component of app portal here. This is the component that we just generated. And I will also set the uh, ending comment, which is end of CDK portal. To use this CDK portal correctly, we must import its module. For that, be sure to open the app.module.ts file. In this file, I can import my portal module and I will import that from at angular slash CDK slash portal. Also, be sure to pass this portal module down in imports array as well. Now, you already saw the portal example with components in the last video. If you didn't, be sure to check that out. But in this video, instead of those components, we will work with templates. So for that, I will go into components, then CDK, and I will open my portal.component.html file. In this file, I can create one ng template element, and I can set the local variable of this element to be, well, template A. For this template A, I will create one h1 element and inside I can pass template A as a text. Now I will repeat the same, so copy this ng template down below and instead of template A, I will use template B as a local variable and instead of text of template A, I will use template B as a text. This here will be two of our templates that we will use to render the content dynamically. Before we do that, there is a specific setup that we must follow to make this work. For that, make sure to open your portal.component.ts file. In here, I can create one template portal property. This template portal property can be the type of template portal and it will hold any as a generic type here. Also, be sure to import this template portal at the top from at angular slash cdk slash portal. So why do we need this template portal? Well, this template portal will communicate with our portal package. Now related to our two templates that we have, for those I will use at view child and here for the view child I will as a string pass my template a property that I have. This property can be also be called well template A and I will set the type of it to be template ref as a reference. This here also should have some generic type. I will just set any as a generic type here. So this way we have a ref reference to our template A in our HTML with this view child. Now grab this property of template A and just paste it below. And instead of template A, I will grab my template B. I will name this property template B as well. And it will also be reference to the template. Now that we have our properties, let's make sure to use those. What I will do? Well, below here, I will create the method called set template A. This will be the void method here as well. So void. This method here can grab my, well, template portal that we have. So this dot template portal and we can set it equal to something. Well, what I need to do here, I will uh, call a new template portal. So as we are importing here a template portal, we are able to use this template portal class here. And to this class, we must, we must pass two, at least two properties. First property is the template itself. 
And as I wish to set the template A here as the first template, then here I will use this dot template A. And the next value that we need to pass is well the container reference. So for that, in my constructor of this uh, TypeScript file, I will set the private property of view container ref and I will set the type of it to be view container ref. This view container ref must be imported here at the top from at angular slash core. Now down below in my template portal, I can just pass this view container ref and that's pretty much it. This is the way to set our template. Now that we have this function to set our template A, let's repeat the same for the template B. So set template B and instead of passing the template A here in our template portal class, we will pass the template B here and that's pretty much it. One more thing here, if you wish to one of these templates to be presented on a screen by default, well, when you load the screen, then you must initiate that template. For that, well, we won't do that in ngOnInit, because ngOnInit is too quick for this template portal. It will just cause some errors and you won't see that template on a screen. So instead of using ngOnInit, next to this on init, I will implement also after view init. So after our view was initiated. So here, this after view init, this is a lifecycle hook that must be imported from at angular slash core. And now that we have it here in our TypeScript file, we can use a method of ng after view init. In this method, what I can do is just call one of my methods. So I will call this dot set template a. So when we load our page, we should see the template A first on our screen. And then we could see our template B if we wish to change that template. So to change that template, I will go into my portal.component.html file. Next to these two templates that I have, I will create one div element with the style attribute here. This style can hold the text align to be center and also margin on a top side to be 50 pixel. Now with this div here, well inside I will create one ng template again. So again the same property, but instead of hard coding here our templates, what I will do, I will bind this property called CDK portal outlet. This CDK portal outlet will gr grab our, well, our template portal that we have and can render the content from that. So here we can use our well property of template portal that we have. So just pass it here. So when we load our template A into our template portal property, then in this ng template, here we should see the content from that template A portal. And to show you the more dynamic approach down below after this ng template, I will create one button with template A text and also another button with template B text. Now what I wish to do is to run click event here on my template A button. So click and whenever I click, I will set template A as a current template. And for my template B button that I have below, I will repeat the same, but instead of uh, setting the template A, I will set the template B. Now this here is not so much important, but I wish to show you that you can dynamically, well, in real time change those templates as you wish. In my browser right now, I can see some template content with two buttons. What I can do is click one of those buttons and we can see that the text will change. Well, not just the text, but the whole template. And this is happening because we are passing different templates to our portal well, when we click these buttons. Which means that this portal will basically port those templates to our pages, wherever we wish. And also next to the templates, it can also port the whole components if you wish. But with this, we are fully finished. One thing before you go, don't forget to subscribe as we are closing to 1000 subscribers. Thank you all once again and bye bye.